Hello and welcome. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator and today I would like to make a video about something that some of you have requested and that is raw data flying. Specifically, we'll be doing a raw data departure. I will explain to you exactly what we'll be flying, how we'll be setting it all up and then we'll actually fly it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the departure I have chosen today is the Meros 5 Alpha departure here from Palma de Mallorca. And the reason why I've chosen it is simply because it is actually a very, very complex departure. So let's go through it. So we take off on runway 24 right, and straight after takeoff, we intercept the 236 radial from Joa, which is this point here. We fly outbound until we reach seven miles on that radial from Joa, and then we turn left on a heading of 208. We keep that heading until we intercept the 135 degree radial from the Andraj NDB, which is here. So we fly here and we intercept and get on that radial. Then we stay on that radial until we reach Xural. Now Xural is a point that is coded, which we are not allowed to use because, you know, it's raw data. So they've told us here that Xural is on the 190 radial from Mike Juliet Victor. So we have to tune in this and wait till we pass this radial and then we know we are exural. From here we turn left again on a heading of 103 and then we intercept the 238 radial inbound to Porto Colom which is another NDB here. So flying 058 because the radial is outbound but we are flying inbound. The departure then carries on here outbound to Menorca, but it's just a straight line. So I would say we finish here because this is 52 miles. It's quite a long stretch with nothing happening. Once we've reached this point, you know, the worst is over, so to speak. So as you can see, there's a lot going on in a very short amount of time. Also, we have some tight turns here at the beginning. So I would be flying this with 210 knots, maybe flaps one. And then once we're here on the Andraj uh, radial, we can accelerate to 250 knots and then fly outbound here. Or we just do the whole thing at 210 knots, depending on the workload. And once we're here, we just accelerate, just to give us a bit more breathing space and a bit more time. So this is how it all, well, it's supposed to work. And uh, we're gonna have a look at that now in the cockpit. All right, here we are on the aircraft and first we're gonna have to set up the departure. Just a few things. I've set the altitude to 20,000 feet. Usually when we take off from Palma, we get successive clearances all the way up to, uh, actually it's 26,000 feet. And from that point onwards, they switch us to Barcelona Center. So because I'm on my own, usually you would command everything we're going to do now. You know, I would just be flying and tell my colleague, please set this VOR and this NDB and set the altitude and the heading. I can't do that. I have to do everything on my own. So at least the altitude I already set to the final altitude we're going to. So that's one less thing I have to worry about. Okay, so let's uh, think about this departure then. Let's uh, come down here, if I remember the right... Here. It's the wrong one. Here we are. So, we'll go to the Ratnav page. And now let's think about this. So, initially, after takeoff, it says we need to follow the 236 radial from Joa. So, let's put in Joa. 236 and that's going to be initially after takeoff our guidance. We need to fly straight ahead basically on this radial until we hit 7 miles from the Joa. Once we achieve that, we need to turn left on a heading of 208. So, let's have a look. First of all, 
if we move this VOR1 here, JOA is identified, so that's great. And then we need to put in the heading. We would usually do this, you know, once we're airborne, but again, I'm on my own. So we need to turn left on 208. So we fly straight out seven miles and then we turn in this direction. After that, we intercept the 135 from Andraj. So we're going to have to put Andraj here because we can only have either one or two selected. So let's put Andraj in two. And let's see. We're on the ground. No, it's not identified. So we're going to have to make sure of the departure that uh, it says Andraj here and that we actually have a green needle showing us the NDB. Once we are outbound on the Andraj, we need to intercept the, well, we need to fly until we intercept the Mike Juliet Victor radial 190. So let's think about this. So we'll be using this as our primary. So we could put it here, but we can't use both of those at the same time. So what I would say is we put it here as a reminder. Mike, Juliet, Victor, 190. So we have it sort of as a backup and a reminder. Once we pass this radio, we turn left again, heading 103. That is something we're going to have to set. And then we intercept the 058 Porto Colom NDB. Let's put the Porto Colom NDB here. There we are. And now we have all the ground stations we need for this departure here. We might have to swap some of them around, but it's all set up, essentially. And that's essentially how we do it. Now, usually you fly without flight director off. On the Airbus, a flight director off takeoff is not allowed. So we'll take off with the flight director. And then once we're airborne, we switch it off. Uh, yeah. And that's basically it. Okay, um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous, haven't done this in ages. Let's see how it works. Alrighty, we're cleared for takeoff, so let's go. It would help if I release the parking brake. So. Man flex 65 SRS 8th first blue. One hundred knots. V one rotate. Positive climb, gear up. Okay, so now we need to look here. We are pretty much on 236, so that's perfect. So we just keep flying now until we have seven miles down here. Flight directors off. We move this into the climb detent. And set speed, 210. There we are. Make sure we don't wander off. Let's lower the nose and start accelerating. Let's clean up the aircraft. Okay. Passing four miles. 4.2 miles now. Flaps zero, speed checked. Flap zero. Okay, passing six miles. And 
and approaching 7 miles and now we go on a heading of 208. And now we need to intercept the Andraj. So let's go to here. That's a bit easier. Oops, overcooked it a bit. This is when you do too many things at the same time. Make sure we go back on the correct heading. 208. And now we need to intercept the 135 radial from Andraj. So when this here points to 135, we need to fly outbound. Obviously we need to turn a bit before because the turn itself is going to take some time and some distance. So let's see. Okay, let's initiate the turn. Let's fly a little bit faster. We're not so doing not doing great here with the speed. Okay, one three five. We are one three seven. So let's correct a little bit. Okay, and let that move over to one three five. Now we need to wait till we go on T one nine zero radial from Mike Juliet Victor. So we are using number two, so Mike, Juliet, Victor. Here we are. And we need to make sure we pass the 190, which is going to be here. So when this has moved here, then we need to turn left on a heading of one zero three. So let's dial that in already. So it helps me out a bit. There we are. <coughs> yeah, I think uh, the worst is over. Let's accelerate to two hundred and fifty knots. And once we are on the heading, we need to fly to Porto Colom, which is an NDB. So let's prepare that as well. Let's get back here. We are on pretty much on that now. 135 looks good. Now we're exactly on 35. We are about to pass 190. Here we are. Let's do the turn. And then we need to intercept Porto Colom. Porto Colom needs to be here. Right. Lower the pitch a bit. And it needs to be the 058. So we're already almost there. So this needle here needs to be at 058. It's dropping. Let's start the turn. Oops, a bit too aggressive.
So let's see what the needle does. I think I turned too early. Yes, I have. So in this case, when you fly to the airway, you go past the needle and let it drop onto what you want to intercept. So let's go this way. Straighten out. And now we wait for the needle to drop to 0 0.58. We're a few degrees off. And once it's there, we then go directly onto the radial. You can see it's slowly dropping. Now it's 0 0.61. So we are 3 degrees off right now. And I think we can accelerate because we're above 10,000 feet. Set speed. Let's make it 280. Okay. Let's do the turn. Almost one degree off zero five eight. Come on, here we are, and then we let it drop slightly. Let's make sure we keep the pitch. There we are. Yeah, last intercept was not great, the rest I think was acceptable. So we have flown now the whole departure, just getting back now on the zero five eight. Yeah, we're getting close to the beacon now, so it's going to get very difficult to get on the radial. So in this case, we just fly the heading and let the needle drop, so to speak. And that's it, essentially. That's how we fly the departure. We would now be flying outbound to Porto Colom and then further on to Menorca. So as you can see... Um, it's not difficult, it's just the workload is very high, you need to think ahead, you need to plan what you do here, how you set it all up, you need to keep an eye on your bank angles, your speeds, your pitch, all that stuff, and with a bit of practice it's actually not too bad. So this is the kind of stuff you will always, always have to do if you go for a job interview with an airline. They want you to fly a departure like this, usually an arrival, a hold, hold entry, an ILS, all raw data, just to see that you understand how to set up everything and that you have good hand flying skills. So here we are, we're over the beacon. So let's just go onto the heading. And that's basically it. So yeah, I don't know if, if you found that interesting. If you did, do you, do you want to do more? Shall we do an arrival, an ILS? Shall we do holds, hold entries, all that stuff? Certainly possible. Let me know in the comments if, if you like raw data flying and if you want to see a bit more. Okay, and that's it. So I would say we'll bring this video to an end. Thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you for all your support. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, all the best. Bye-bye.